the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello, Gamer Nom is back. So for today's King's Legacy video, we will add another rare fruit to our series. Noob level 1 gets. I hope that you remember this. I posted this two days ago in our community tab in our channel. The fruit with the most request will win. So for the lucky fruit, we have... But don't worry. To those who commented ice and flame, I will also be co covering those fruits, okay? So time to eat this terrible tasting fruit go and check our first skill. So for our first skill, we have the crack ball. Hmm, I don't like the name guys, crack ball. Well anyways, you know the drill. First up, we need to do the I am snake dude quest, special quest for level 0. He will ask you to look for, again, 3 chickens. Here are all the locations, that one, spawn point, and the black market tower building. Okay, so you're gonna do that until you reach level 11, okay? Okay, here you go. Guys, I always do server hopping to make sure that the chickens have already spawned to save time. Once you reach level 11, now is the time to do the clown pirate quest. Are there any tips, gamer gnome? Hmm, guys, just lure, okay? Lure them and use your first skill. Can you use your first skill to like kill two at a time? No. See that? The range won't let you do it. But you can punch one and lure and kill two at a time. So I think that's better. Again, punch, lure, kill. Okay, punch, lure, kill. Okay. So you're gonna do this until you reach level 20 and start defeating Smokey. So Smokey three hits at the start of this leveling up phase. First kill, dodge, and first kill, and dodge, and first kill. Okay. So you're gonna do that until you reach level 30 and start defeating Tashi. The same goes for it guys, use your Z skill and dodge to the side. Check this out guys, I was killed by the, uh, what do you call that, the shadow fruit and my level is below 50 so I think that's a bug. Anyway guys, do this until you reach level 50, very easy. But before reaching level 50, make sure to prepare your boat because there are lots of bullies here. This will be our escape plan, guys. Okay, put it here. I suggest a rowboat, smaller, because I think that will uh, like get more attention. So at level 50, you can unlock the smack floor. We're gonna use that later on the next island. I'm just gonna show you here. Boom, there you go. So we're at level 50. Check it out, guys. They've already seen the boat. So we're gonna escape. Oh, they're attacking me, guys. <laughs> okay, okay. See that, guys? That's the great escape. They're still trying to like, oh, they won't be able to catch me. Okay, so after reaching Pirate Island, let's do the Clown Pirate quest. You need to slay 5 using the smack floor. It's enough guys, you're gonna do this until you reach level 75. But just a tip, the moment you have $50,000 or belly, can you please uh, go to the Soldier Island and buy, yes, the Soru. Because this fruit, the problem with this fruit is its mobility. It's very hard to move using this fruit, so Soru will be really helpful. There you go, you see that? You can travel faster, so there you go. When you reach 75, you can now start defeating the clown. Baggy the clown. But end at 75, guys, you can now unlock a new skill, the third skill. But let's finish this first, okay. So now, our third skill is unlock the destroyer. Check it out, guys. This fruit is very easy to level up. I'm gonna show you this is the fastest fruit to level up for me guys, for me. Lots of tips for everyone. Okay, so you're gonna do this until you reach level 100. And when you reach that, you can now unlock the final skill, the double wave. Again, if you put all your stats, you can unlock it this early in the game. So guys, I'm so excited. Let's try it in this island. I think it can kill everyone in this island. Oh, except for the clown. Wow, we're still weak. Okay, so there you go. Once you reach level 100, you can now go to the Soldier Island. Guys, everything will be fast now. Commander, level 100, right? You're gonna level up here until 120. See that, guys? C skill, destroyer, and your V skill, double wave. Okay, so check that out, guys. Wait for it, wait for it until the quest finishes itself because of your double wave. And then get the next quest, okay? 
There you go, 120 defeat captain. So we're gonna defeat this again. The fastest way to do this is finish two quests at the same time. So again, first get the commander quest, use your C skill, boom, and your V skill. And after that, you can now head to the quest giver, wait for your previous quest to finish, the commander quest. There you go. Okay. Okay, once you complete it, get your other quest, the captain quest. See that? Almost dead. Okay, you're gonna do this until you reach level 145. And after that, it's the time to defeat the axe hand. So very easy to defeat this, guys. Once you put all your stats, your fruit. Guys, one hit with your V skill. Double wave. Okay, so you're gonna do this until you reach level 180. Guys, 180 for the first time we are going to do the 180 quest in the shark island can you imagine that first time guys first time okay so we are here in the shark island now 180 quest even with the snow fruit i didn't do this because you need to like defeat five fishmans and they're so far apart but not with this fruit you just need to use your double wave there you go okay see that guys so here's the strategy on how to finish it fast you need to defeat one and after that use your v skill immediately there you go Okay, and that's it. You're gonna do this until you reach level 200, guys. Okay? So now, how to level up fast? So first, get the 180 quest. Defeat one. Okay? And use your V skill. And after that, go to the level 200 quest. And after finishing your previous quest, accept. And use your first skill or your C skill. And it's all good. Okay? Next up, when you reach level 230, guys. Get this quest, right? The Karate Fishman, use your V skill. Now head to this quest giver. Hey, ready your next quest. But first, make sure you finish it. The previous one. So we are level 232 here, right? Okay, so your double wave will kill that boss. And then accept what first skill. See that, guys? Two level ups. Again, accept. Guys, make sure to put all your uh, stats on Devil Fruit. At this part of the game, okay. This is stage. Okay, there it goes again, level 232. Wait for it, wait for it. Okay, level 233 and accept. Okay, there you go. Oh, guys, there's another way here. Guys, use your V skill, defeat this fast, and then after that, get the quest. Guys, this mob here, the shark man spawns very fast see that guys two level ups so it depends to you on what strategy would you like to use but everything will make things faster okay so now when you reach level 300 we will go to the next island which is the chef island why 300 gamer gnome we have a quest at 250 guys don't worry we're still gonna do that so first get that quest the trainer chef use your v skill okay and then get the dark leg quest after defeating the previous quest okay finishing or defeating the pre previous quest so after that you just need to click accept again see that one level up and then defeat dark leg already damaged check that out so when you reach 350 we can now finish three quests at the same time how's that not actually the same but succeedingly and really really fast so again get the tra trainer chef quest Guys, now, during this time, your power foot is really, really strong. So make sure that after you finish the quest, click accept. You don't need to attack the Dark Leg anymore. And after that, you just need to proceed to the other quest giver. There you go, the Weapon Man, and defeat it. Okay, guys, so again, one more time. Okay, so get the Chef quest. Use your V skill. Again, you don't need to attack the Dark Leg anymore. Accept, accept. Two quests done and do the weapon man quest okay so after that we can now proceed to the snow island guys if the chef ship is fast guys snow island is faster first snow soldiers guys just use v skill and we're good okay this is level 400 okay so when you reach level 450 things will get faster again get the snow soldier quest use your v skill wait for it to finish itself get the king of snow quest and use your first skill that's it you're gonna do this until you reach level 500 
And after that, here is the strategy. Get the soldier quest, use V skill. Now you will be unlocking this quest, right? And that quest is the heavy man. So make sure to finish the snow soldier quest, accept the heavy man. See that guys? Two quests, one skill. You see that? And then after that, time to head to the king of snow. Guys, three quests finished with only two skills. How's that? Again, one more time, accept. Okay, use your V skill. Again guys, put all your stats into your power foot. But if you want, you can put some on your defense, but focus on the power foot. Then wait for it to finish. Guys, always remember where I cast my skills, okay? Check that out, guys. One skill, two quests done. And then move to the King of Snow. And there you go. Guys, we can train here until uh, 625. Okay, 625. Why, gamer? No. We have a quest uh, of 500 something in the next island, the Sand Island. Oh, don't forget to get this when you have 1.5 million, the observation hockey. Okay. Not Sand Island, Desert Island, sorry. Okay, so now here guys, why move to this island at 625? We have a quest at 525, the Candleman. Guys, check this out. We want to kill two at a time. So you use your V skill here. Again, double wave. And run towards the quest giver of the Bomb Man at 625. This will be unlocked. Wait for it to kill the Candleman. That's it. Accept and defeat this dude. Okay? Very easy, right? Just keep doing this until you reach level 725 and at that level, we will unlock the King of Sand. Guys, how do you defeat this? Easy, guys. So first, use your V skill, right? V skill. Okay, and then wait for the waves to come and after that, use your C skill. Guys, with just this, it's enough. But for me, it's kind of slow. So again, we will add something. See that? Use your Soru. Use your C skill. Okay? And after that, go to the bomb man. While waiting for the double wave to cool down, guys, because of the double wave, the bomb man's already damaged. There you go. So you just need to get the quest and defeat him. And after that, proceed to the king of sand. Very easy, guys. So guys, after this, you will go to the sky island. But gamer gnome, at what level? 800, guys. Aside from our first island, this is the hardest island for me, the Sky Island. Why? Because guys, remember, the double wave is effective because it can attack everyone in the island. But that is in the air. That island is in the air. So your double wave will be ineffective when you reach 850. Okay? At the early part stages of uh, this leveling up phase in the Sky Island, it's easy. But after that, everything will be harder. Okay? Okay, so let's head to that island. There you go. Here we are. Okay. So here, guys, you can still use your double wave at level 800, the Sky Soldier. But I don't prefer that because the cooldown is kind of slow. Just use your X skill, the Smack Floor, and Crack Ball. And that's enough, guys. Do this until you reach 850. And after reaching 850... You can also use that, your uh, smack floor and destroyer. So 850 guys, the ball man. Very easy, use your C skill, first skill, and X skill, and that's enough guys. You're gonna do this until you reach level 900. At 900, the rumble man, make sure to use your observation hockey, and after your first skill, dodge to the side. Dodge to the side, dodge to the side, okay? And you can now use your X skill, and that's good. Okay? Again, first uh, C skill, dodge, Z skill, and X skill. So after that, guys, level 1000, we can now head to the Bubble Island to start our new quest, which is defeat five soldiers. So guys, how do you do this? Just kill one, okay? But first, cast your double wave, kill one, boom. But gamer, you need to defeat five. Wait for it, guys. Wait for it. Wait for the double wave. Before it even hits the enemy, the enemy that you killed will respawn. So, that's a finished quest. Again, kill one fast, but first cast your V skill. And before it even reaches the area where you killed it, it will spawn back. Okay? When you reach level 1150, you cannot defeat the next mob. But guys, you need to do the soldier quest too. 
again defeat one use your v skill guys when you use your v skill make sure that you are still not in the same zone okay because it won't damage your enemy so make sure that you kill them first guys our goal here is to damage the other mob too the leader so now when you check him out half hp easy to defeat now go back to the soldiers and the leader okay so next up the passista guys how do you defeat this guys use your v skill and after that go to him there you go you're gonna do that until you reach level 1250 and head to our final island the lobby island so first you need to defeat the wolf right guys i'll make things faster okay when you reach level 1325 you can unlock the giraffe so this is how you'll do it use your v skill right again you can do this when you reach level 1325 v skill first skill on the wolf and wait for your quest to finish there you go and after that get the giraffe quest and defeat it you are gonna use this strategy until you reach level 1400 okay so this final mob is very easy to defeat so do this until you reach 1500 and we're all good with the grinding part for the final quest you need to head to the war island marine ford it's fast forward there you go and you need to talk to the traveler where is he located here is the traveler talk to him and he will ask you to go to the fish land okay fish land okay and then you need to defeat the seasoned fishman the strongest mob in this island and then there is a chance that you will get the map okay okay so here we go luckily we were able to get it fast so here it is the map and after that you need to go back to the war island give it to the traveler and head to the starting island talk to the elite pirate and he will send you to the second sea okay guys so that will be it i hope that you enjoyed this video it's kind of long but for me, it's good. There are lots of tips to make this grinding faster. I hope that you enjoyed it. Again, guys, next stop, Flame Fruit, okay? So to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I appreciate you all. This is GamerNom, and GamerNom out!